Well, you know, when I I've, I've done now at least a dozen recordings with the quartet. I've done four solo records. I've been on a bunch of other projects with other people and done some film score work and things like that. Um, when I first started doing it, it was terrifying. You know, um, you know, there's that red light fever that kicks in where you know suddenly they go go and and you become so hyper aware of every little tiny thing um, and it's you know the more I've done it though the, the more comfortable I felt and the more that I've been able to feel that okay I'm in my element and you know I know what I want to do and also knowing a little bit about the post-production process you know I've actually done some uh, editing and producing work uh, I, I did all the edit editing on my solo albums and I, I learned well you know without without cheating you know with, with editing you can you can create the performance that you envision in your mind you know um, but the I guess the interesting thing that I've discovered is it's really easy to uh, not see the forest for the trees when you're recording you you tend to focus on all the little details like oh I buzzed that note or oh this this that was a little slow or whatever and what you might miss is well the groove of the whole thing isn't there or you know or you know the arc of the piece you know the large scale thing uh, is is really hard to see when you're doing it and uh, that's the, the the trick I think to be able to see the small details but the large overall picture and just have your artistic vision come out.